going to sound like people in abroad, Africans abroad, that will keep telling us, oh, the West is, don't come to the West to hey. But before you know it, their family members will disappear. Eh? Obi will disappear. Kwame will vanish. Hmm? Obi now will be nowhere to be fine. Femi will disappear. Custody of their family members that are telling us that do not have family members abroad to not come. There's 80% chances that you will be sent back to your country of origin to go sort out your visa issues from there. And another thing is why I will always tell you there is no hope if that is why you're coming. is because you cannot impersonate being a Ghanaian. It is very difficult. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back again. Thank you for joining me if you are new here. Hello. Welcome. My name is Lily. For the past few videos, like I've been talking about a particular topic, which is moving from Ghana to the Western countries as a Nigerian. The other one I talked about why you shouldn't come. Then the recent one, but it was a vlog. I talked about it. I didn't give my reasons. Just had a conversation with a friend. I wanted to quickly talk about it so I don't forget. So I did that, but there were no details. I didn't explain a lot of things because it was a vlog and I was in a hurry to just move on to other things. But today I have time to throw more light on that topic. So I talked about it, how easy it is for a Nigerian to move from Ghana to the Western countries, uh, to any of the Western countries as a Nigerian living in Ghana. Is it easy? These are questions that have been asked a couple of times, both from people that know me one-on-one -on -one and people that are... I meet here on the internet. The first person that did that was my was one of my friends. So she reached out. She told me, "Oh, my husband and I are planning to go to Canada, but Lily, I'm thinking that we may have to come to Ghana and live there. Then we walk our way from there to Canada. Do you think it's going to be easy? Is it something that you think is doable?" I was very happy that she talked to me about it because she'd been telling me on Facebook, Lily give me your whatsapp number i want to talk to you but i've not really you know i forgot totally but i'm glad i did because she was preparing she and her husband were preparing they have started thinking of how to sell their properties in nigeria i'm not talking about a house okay they are personal effects in nigeria so they can move to ghana then from here they'll make their way to canada she was very precise they want to go to canada Please, did I tell you to like this video? Mm hmm I guess I may not have. Please don't forget to like this video, okay? So she's very precise. They are going to Canada and she wanted to come to Ghana and stay here. Maybe start a little business here. Then they'll plan how to move from here to Canada. So I discourage that. In this video, I'm going to tell you why all these things are impossible, okay? So you don't think... I, I, don't, I don't want to sound like people in abroad, Africans abroad that will keep telling us, oh, the West is, don't come to the West to, hey. but before you know it, their family members will disappear. Eh? Obi will disappear. Kwame will vanish. Hmm? Obi now will be nowhere to be fine. Femi will disappear. Custody of their family members that are telling us that do not have family members abroad to not come. So I don't want to sound like that, okay? So I want to explain my reason in this video. But another friend again contacted me. Then this particular person wanted to go to anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. So you want to know if it's easy to go from Ghana. And I told him it's not. I explained my reasons to him. But I feel like I hold you guys some sort of explanation. So, so it don't look like I'm... Um, discouraging people from coming to Ghana or making it look like Ghana is a land of no opportunity at all, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to explain my reasons in this video in that I know this one is from my village. Mm -hmm. Like we speak the same dialect. He recently, like he's been on my neck. Lily, I want to move. I want to move. Please, do you think it's easy? I know you will tell me the truth. Do you think it's easy to move to Ghana and from Ghana I can move to he he mentioned a country i won't tell you guys all right for the sake of privacy so 
and then i told him no he should not because why i'm telling all these people no is because these people have jobs they are doing in nigeria even though it's not paying a lot of money but they have something to keep body and soul together that allows them to save little little monies from time to time i mean after paying their bill they have little monies even though it's very very small that they are setting aside they work on their intention to move i mean as they work on the visas to relocate they have little little monies that they are setting aside to be able to in case the visa comes out for them in case they are lucky they get picked they'll be able to pay for flight tickets and also do other things that may be required of them so this is why i told them not to come to ghana because them leaving nigeria to ghana will mean they are going to you know quit the job or businesses they're doing back in nigeria so then come to ghana here to start afresh and then as they try to start afresh they are going to spend the money that they have been able to save since you know this time and then if at all there's something i don't know maybe is happening for nigerians in ghana to be able to move then by the time that happens if at all it does happen by the time that happens they may not have money to pay for tickets or basically present whatever they need to present you see my reason for saying no you know at the beginning of my channel here i met a lot of people that said they are from ghana and they like nigerians a lot some of them said in the 80s they were living in nigeria and life was good and then from nigeria they made their way to other countries in the west and they are doing amazing so after some time they had to come back to ghana and work their papers so these things you know can happen anybody can help anybody in that video i talked about a nigerian guy that i know okay i see it's not like i don't keep secrets i keep people secret but if i'm saying it like this you never know what i'm talking about right but i like to share so that you will know that i know like i'm aware of certain things that happen so this is my main reason of telling them not to come and i strongly believe that if you are in nigerian and you are in ghana and you're planning to move from here to any country in the west there's 80 percent chances that you will be sent back to your country of origin to go sort out your visa issues from there so what would be your profit coming here thinking that from here you can easily move then you when you have to like pay your flight ticket back to nigeria if you are the type like me that can manage that can bear stress it means you're gonna go to nigeria lagos or abuja on the road for hours for hours trying to get this visa sorted trying to they will tell you come today come tomorrow maybe you go for interviews today because you're not the only one there are a lot of people on the queue they'll send you back to come again another day so you see why i do not encourage so if you have it in mind to go to any western country ghana is not the place for you okay it's not because had it been is like before where when you live here for some time okay someone was okay uh, out of pity a friend of yours who you know work things for you the african way the gentleman way by telling you okay say this say that and if it's like that i won't have discouraged you if you know anyone that can take risk for you some of us i know there are a lot of people including some of my subscribers that can do that for me but right now things are no longer like that you get it nobody can do it the system have been reorganized and it has made it very difficult for such thing to happen because the government of nigeria and ghana is fully aware that its citizens is very emotional because you are human blood flowing in your body and you like to help all right you want to help so there's no how you will see a nigerian in need and you know that for sure if this person goes to this country their lives are going to like their lives will be better and then you say no you no help you want to help and our government and our government is fully aware of this our strategy so they have reorganized things and made it very difficult for me to help a Ghanaian move to another country or for a Ghanaian to help me move so now things are strictly if anybody wants to the highest help 
they can give you is maybe give you money so this is why i advise my people to stay back and do their thing back home if you want to move but if you want to come live in ghana you are highly welcome i cannot discourage you especially if you're coming if you are coming from nigeria and you have something in mind that you're going to do when you get here you're highly welcome but the one i'm still discouraging up to date should not come to ghana to be able to move if you're coming with the sole aim of trying to see figure out how to go very understandable the embassies in nigeria are currently overwhelmed due to the number of people currently looking to leave the country yes that is the reality so that is why i said in that video that nobody should come okay yeah of course um we 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 made our things difficult for us some people want to help someone like me right now but nobody can take the risk because i'm a nigerian they feel like oh if they help this lady she's going to she's going to get me into trouble after all other people from her country don't have good reputation and it's going to bring regret so nobody want to you know be part of it i know right so and another thing is why i will always tell you there's no hope if that is why you're coming is because you cannot impersonate being a Ghanaian. it is very difficult back in the days when this back in the days when some of these guys were doing those passport were doing the Ghanaian passport to be able to move was not them impersonating Ghanaian directly it was officers who knew the truth that these guys are not Ghanaian, but because they have the money to pay for the passport, they do it for them. It was strictly business because, and they will guide them and tell them what, how to say it and how to do it. It is very easy for you. It is very easy for a Ghanaian or any other person from any black person from any part of the world to, to just claim to be a Nigerian very 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 easy and that is because of diverse culture because in nigeria we have lots of ethnic group in nigeria we have lots of languages lots of and it's very common for you we don't have a, a single language that is okay this one if you are a Ghanaian, at at least even if you are in the north you will understand some tree because they are compulsory in their school just like english is compulsory in nigeria so in nigeria as long as you speak english you are good to go your intonation a lot of people won't pay attention to it because they have never been to your part of nigeria to hear how people are speaking you're probably the first one an officer of the immigration service in nigeria is coming across and he cannot defend he cannot use that against you because you can easily tell him oh i'm from ukele he doesn't even know what that is where that is and he doesn't know how the people from there speak and you can easily say okay my name is angela john you can easily say oh my name is lily johnson they won't dig deeper oh johnson because most time our traditional names our home names will help people to identify where you are from easily if you say obina oh okay you are Igbo. if you say femi if you say femi that means you know already you're from yoba if you say musa oh, okay you are from the north you know but we from the south we can easily be a name like names like lily johnson so people will not be able to trace and track and see if you're lying but in ghana here it is very easy this happened to me and when we went to Eburi botanical garden we didn't know that as foreigners we we're going to pay higher than our Ghanaian friend that went with us we have a Ghanaian friend whose mom is Ghanaian her dad is a Nigerian and she was born in Ghana so three of us went there together and then they asked us at the gates um they told us okay if a foreigner pays 20 cities and Ghanaians five cities so my friend was now telling her that we are Ghanaian. she said something she just spoke a word and then we we turned and looked at each other and started laughing so you see that language is always going to give you away so this is why i am saying that nobody should come here for that because you're going to waste your time and at the end of the day it won't be achieved it means you going back home you having to rearrange your life here to be able to move to the west so this is why i say it is does it doesn't work okay maybe it will work out me i'm waiting for someone to tell me i'm lying by daring me to help me move 
<laughs> yeah, help me move, help me move, okay? Dare me, prove me wrong by helping me move, okay? I've been trying to get people to dare me to move. Nobody is doing that. I've been saying the West is the best so that someone will get angry and say, Lily, come, I want to move you so that you will go. When you go there, you must enjoy it too, but I don't want to hear any complaint. I'm waiting for that person, but nobody's coming forth. Unfortunate. All right, so I hope that you did get this point. I hope you, you did enjoy this video and that I'll see you in my next one. Bye.